Hey guys, my name is DJ Genie and welcome to Digital Empire. The Empire. In this episode, we're going to be unboxing the brand new SSL 2 Plus that I just got and we're going to be talking a little bit about the gear that I use in my studio. So for those of you who don't know me, here's a brief introduction into DJ Genie. Uh, DJ Genie, guys are watching. DJ Genie. <laughs> I'm a producer DJ, i um, been DJing for about 15 years, producing and engineering for a little bit over 18 years. But before you go any further, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, ring the notification bell and follow me for more great content right here on my YouTube channel. It's your boy DJ Genie and this is Digital Empire. Um, started out of necessity back in the early 2000s, everybody wanted to be G unit be the next big rapper and um, living on the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines at the time studio engineers didn't want to take rapper seriously it was either dance hall or reggae so me and my friend Don Fresh aka Megawatts we ended up um, started recording and producing our own music and that's how my love for engineering grew and then because we started engineering and recording our own music it didn't sound too good so we ended up DJing so we can play our own music because no one wanted to play the music. Fast forward several years later, um, I'm a world renowned engineer producer DJ. I've traveled a lot of places, a little too numerous to mention right now. I've engineered for some really crazy people. I've done some production work for some really, really great artists as well. My more recent production is um, Mailbox Rhythm. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but if you haven't, check it out. It's streaming everywhere. Yeah, it featured Shell Marshall, myself, Blacks, and Karida. That did really well for Trinidad 2020 Carnival. Right now, we're gonna get into the unboxing of the brand new SSL 2 Plus. Okay, guys, here we have it. The brand new SSL 2 Plus just came out. Interface. This is pretty sturdy, pretty hefty, I should say. You guys can see this properly. It's in a nice thick plastic. What's new with the SSL 2 Plus or what's different? Why I upgraded from my audience ID4? Well, to begin with, my ID4 has been giving me a few issues. I've noticed it constantly disconnecting from my laptop. I troubleshooted, I changed the cables, I've changed the USB ports that I used to plug it into in the laptop. I even went and bought this Sabrent um, USB hub, but it still drops in and out. It's really irritating. So when I heard SSL was dropping an interface, I was like, what better interface to get than one that is made by guys who've made legendary mixing consoles? If it's one thing they'd get right is an interface. So this interface comes with two input channels, has a volume knob, light that lets you know when it's connected to your laptop. This monitor mix lets you go from the input, which would be the lines coming into the interface, and the USB monitoring levels from your laptop. And it also has two headphone volume control knobs. That is one of the reasons why I got this particular device, because it allows you to blend and mix the headphones separately. I just think this is a pretty cool feature to have two headphone volume knobs so if we turn this around and we go to the back it's USB powered that is also another reason why I opted for this having the ability to travel with my interface and have it not being powered by a outlet or traveling with a bulky wall wart this allows me the affordability to plug up in an airport plug up on a bus plug up on a train and just get going I can mix on the fly using my headphones um, moving along you'll see it also has it's MIDI in and MIDI out two headphone ports in the back I think they could have put these headphone jacks to the front but eh. so it also gives you output one output two those are XLR outputs tippering sleeves that goes to your speakers then you also have RCA connector outputs for output one and two and then they give you three and four if you want to connect to say your DJ mixer and then out to something else. Here we have the universal input connectors. Um, these are tip ring sleeves. I think they're called Trident inputs. I'm not too sure. Uh, tip ring sleeve and XLR inputs 
for line um, inputs, whether it's a microphone or a guitar or a bass or whatever device. And above here in channel one, you see it has the plus 48, that's for phantom power. And you have the line, that's to let it know whether it's a line input or an XLR input. And then you have high Z, that goes with line if it needs more power, something like a bass guitar or anything. And then you see it has the zero to 40 monitor meters. Um, also a really cool feature that I've seen in a lot of reviews and um, the product demo video talk about is this plus 4k button now what I've been told that this does is it boosts the upper and lower harmonics on that particular channel so instantly when the plus 4k is engaged you can hear how richer brighter the high end is and how much more body is given to the channel or the signal that is going into the channel so that's something I'm looking forward to testing cables we have the ones that I really don't like the USB-C cables it's like they also have this so that's pretty cool I'm gonna plug it in and um, give this thing a go in a minute um, all the reviews I've seen about this box says it's a pretty well built amazingly sounding device I'm really looking forward to working with this I'm not gonna sell my audience ID4 Instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it as a backup um, interface for smaller projects. Yeah, so this has been my unboxing video of the SSL2. I'm going to give you guys a quick uh, snap of a couple of the other stuff that I have that I use. This is my little home studio setup at Digital Empire. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video, but before you go any further, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell, and follow me for more great content right here on my YouTube channel. It's your boy DJ Genie, and this is Digital Empire. Empire.